Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, probably the very worst time this could possibly happen. One of the new Costa cruise ships sailing in the Mediterranean out of Italy and Genoa uh, had some cases on board. So the Costa Diamenda, something like that, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, um, it has been on two cruises, two back-to-back -back cruises that have been totally sold out and rented to a private company from France. It's all passengers from France who have been on these two cruises. On one cruise ended on October 12th and then reset sail for another 14 day cruise. Some of the passengers staying on board and going for 28 days. Uh, the, but on October 10th, my birthday, <laughs> uh, they, uh, seven passengers tested positive for the virus. Now, all passengers getting on board had been required to have a test. Now, they don't state, uh, did they have two tests? They only say they had required a test. So it sounds like they took the quick test when they got to the cruise port and didn't have to, you know, bring in one five days ahead of time. Um, I'm not sure. There's really no indication from anywhere about it, from the cruise lines, from the French authorities, from Italian authorities. Nothing out there is showing what exact tests they had. They just say that all passengers had been required to be tested. Now, some of the things they are doing good on board is they are also testing people on board before they return to a cruise port. And they're testing people, you know, when they come back uh, from, uh, you know, during the cruise. So on the 10th, uh, some passengers, they had all tested negative, and then they got off in the Greek islands, went on some shore excursions, and when they were getting back on the ship, seven passengers tested positive. Now, they were immediately isolated, and then in Genoa, they were isolated off the ship into a, an area, a hotel, that has been prearranged by sorry uh, Palermo it, it's not uh, not you know in Palermo had been prearranged ahead of time that in case something happens this is the protocol we will take them off the ship and we will move them there and then they have the advance um, tracing on board where you know they know who you've been in contact with it's like the wristbands at Disney and stuff like that uh, so they knew who everyone was in contact with and they tested again and one more person was found to have contracted the virus. That person was isolated and taken off the cruise ship in Naples again as in protocol, quarantined into a hotel and every passenger is doing fine. They are asymptomatic. No one was showing any symptoms at all. But as a precaution, they put everybody into the isolation as they're supposed to do with these protocols. And then they also decided to cancel the second cruise and return back to Genoa early. And so I'm, I'm watching a lot of stories about it and articles about it. And everyone's calling this an absolute disaster. And look, this proves that cruise lines just aren't safe. And nothing can be absolutely further from the truth. And here's why. Every protocol worked. We all know that you cannot say everything will be zero forever on this virus right now. We can't we couldn't keep it away from the president of the United States. You're not going to keep it away from everywhere. It breaks out in hospitals. It breaks out in schools. It breaks out in grocery stores. It breaks out in bars. Right? It breaks out everywhere. So the answer is what happens when it does and you do your best to not let it get on your ship to begin with. So they had the testing. 
People tested negative. They get off the ship. When they got back on the ship, still showing no signs, but they tested them again. And they found passengers who tested positive, immediately isolated them, and immediately took them off the ship as per the protocols, which means those protocols work. By the way, after those passengers were removed, they retested all the passengers on board, and every single other passenger tested negative. So it didn't become a super spreader event like we saw with the Diamond Princess in the beginning of March because things have changed. Protocols are now in place to protect everybody. And so, no, it's not an absolute disaster. Had I, do I wish it never would have happened? Of course. But I'm very thankful that I see that they've done the protocols that I was hoping that they would do, right? That's the protocols we want to see here in North America when they open up. If somebody gets sick on board, the cruise line isolates them, takes them off, puts them in a hotel, keeps them quarantined, looks after them, and then looks after their transportation home. That's exactly what the cruise lines are doing in Italy right now. Now, as for the reason people are pointing out, well, they decided to cut the cruise early. See, that's what happens because of the virus. It actually had nothing to do with the virus on board. It has everything to do with France issuing a new state of emergency lockdown in their country and new restrictions coming out. And all of their passengers are from France. So they decided because of this situation, they better, you know, because of the testing of positive, you know, the ship can continue. There's no more cases on board. Everything worked. Everyone tested negative. But for the passengers being able to return home quickly and with no issues, they decided to return back to Genoa and let them get home and just refund them their money. And this was, in my opinion, uh, probably the right thing to do. Because when everyone booked your cruise, they probably weren't in a state of emergency. And now they are again in a state of emergency. And people don't want to be stuck somewhere else for three and four months. Uh, and it, won't, it, it was never that, but you know what I mean. So did the protocols work? Well, it certainly seems so, right? Because, you know, on the Diamond Princess, it, it was linked to 500 and some cases. On the Ruby Princess, it was linked to 800 and some cases. Here we have another breakout, 2,500 passengers, 1,100 crew on board, eight people tested positive, everybody else tests negative, and they were removed from the vicinity. That's the key. The quick notice, the testing on board, the testing, 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 right? <laughs> remember, and all those people are saying, well, remember, uh, if I have to show a negative test when I get on board, why do I need to wear a mask? Why do I need this? Well, there you go. These people tested negative getting on the ship and then tested positive on the ship. That's why these policies are in place. That's why the mask wearing policies are going to be in place at least for now. Will it be forever? No, it won't be forever, but it is for now. That's going to be the cost of Costa cruising, <laughs> if you will, for the cruise lines to open. It's not their choice. You know, they're not going, yeah, woo, we get to have people wear masks. All right. No, they would love cruising to go back to exactly the way it was before. But in order to open, in order to start sailing, in order to try and save their businesses, these policies have to be in place. And I mentioned just the other day, I was worried about the testing that they were thinking on doing here in North America. And look at the testing they were doing on this ship. They tested people getting on the ship. They tested people coming back from shore excursions. And they tested people before they got back to the home port. Three tests. And that's not including maybe they also needed a test before they got to the cruise pot port. So three tests or four tests during their cruise. That's what we need to see here in North America. None of this, I tested five days ago and here you go and I'm getting on your ship. 
None of that. I know it's not fair to the cruise lines because I don't need to show a test when I go to Disney World. I don't need to show a test when I travel to Vegas. I don't need any of that. I don't need a, to show a test when I travel. But the cruise lines require this to open and in order to stop any kind of super spreader event, you need this kind of testing. And because this is only eight cases, it's not a disaster. Can you imagine if 180 people would have broke out with the, with the virus on board? Cruise lines would, would, would be not opening until sometime next fall. So thankfully, that's not the case. And a lot of those people out there saying it's an absolute disaster and this is why it's unsafe to cruise and everything. Actually, look at what actually happened and then reevaluate because cases like they just said, there's 300,000 cases in seven days in the United States. None of them were on cruise ships. So it's spreading somewhere. Somewhere you're catching it. But uh, here they've managed to mitigate it and not have it spread. Well, to me, that was good news. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you want to see those exact same protocols in place when cruise ships start sailing here in North America? I think it's what they got to do. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe, and a great vacation.